tonight. From First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio, it's Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. As we'll see Jalen Hurts and the Cleveland Browns. Taking on Mac Jones and the Cincinnati Bengals. We come at you from the shores of Lake Erie. EA Sports has the coverage of the NFL from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. The folks here in Cleveland, even though all the down years, have never stopped supporting their hometown guys. And we got evidence of that a moment ago as the Browns made their entrance. They are ready to do battle with the Cincinnati Bengals. The wait is finally over. Brandon God and Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. They had no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. A very tough run, but for a short gain out near the 32. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Back to throw. Jones. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. So here are the Browns now with great starting field position. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Being chased out left. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. To throw again on second down, Hurts. Hurts fumbles it, and the Bengals grab it. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro linebacker. It's Vaughn Miller. And the Browns are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. And that's going to be caught from Browns. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett, 46 yards. And the Browns on just two plays have taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Here's Jones on first down. Short throw to Disley. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. This is a counter play, Eckler, and he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns territory. Six yards on that last play, here's second and four. The handoff, it's Eckler. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he is going to have a Bengals first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Short throw to Disley. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Back to throw, Jones. in three consecutive drives, and you can see he's just got a look of disgust and bad body language, understandably, as he walks off the field. And I think it comes from the fact that he's not sure what he sees down the field, Brandon. I don't know if he's seeing ghosts. I don't know if he just can't read defenses. I'm not sure what it is, but that's why he's frustrated. Think about the defense right now. Every time they run on the field, they've gone from hoping to intercept a pass to expecting to intercept passes. Their confidence at an all-time high right now. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Escaping the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Trey Hendrickson. He's the one who runs him down, and my goodness, that is just a disastrous loss for this offense. On second and goal, Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Sliding out of the pocket, letting one go deep for the end zone. And this 
pass is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Debo Samuel there to make the grab. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. Tucker now to add the point after. And it's good to make it 14-0. Five plays there on that drive. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And I guess right now, as we look at some of his struggles today, the turn next play really applies here. He's got to move on. I love where your head is on that, because that's where his head needs to be, exactly what you've said. Yes, there have been mistakes made, but he's got to move on and play the next play as if it didn't happen, keep his confidence up. But how about the guys on the defensive side of the ball? They've got to be feeling great about what's going on right now. They've already gotten to him a few times. They want to keep that up. Maybe they can pick off a few more. Yeah, they've disrupted already for three INTs. On second and nine, Jones. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Dante Hightower. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. But first down, Hurts. Flush to his right. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Van Jefferson there to make the grab. And the Browns are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position, and only one play to score it. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Jones. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Gonzalez's kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. 
So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the fumble. They recover, hand things over to their offense, and then the offense went down and got them three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. Hurts throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. Second down and eight. They'll look to throw here. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Back to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. Three yards the gain there, second down. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you guys for the second half of the season opener. But first, let's take a look at what's still to come here in the opening weekend of the NFL season. Some good games to look forward to in the early window, especially the one in Baltimore. A big one coming up for the Ravens as they'll square off against the Miami Dolphins. In the late afternoon games, the place to be might very well be Denver, Colorado, where it'll be the Broncos taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. And then finally, we'll wrap up the week on Monday Night Football with a good one between the New York Giants and the Washington football team. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Taking it about the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. For the Browns offense getting set to go to work here to start the third. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. From the gun, it's Hurts. And it's third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. All told, a 54-yard punt, 13 on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 60 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. 
Now Jones, off play action. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. Oh, what a juke into space. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. On the handoff, Connor. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to that end zone real fast. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. From the 25 on second down, Jones, he finds his man complete. That's Lamb. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Jones. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Bengals! Will Disley, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Bengals are able to draw a bit closer. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Cleveland offense making their way out. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Come out throwing here to start the drive. Steps away to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. On play action, they'll throw. Rolling to his right. He lets it fly for Lockett. This is caught inside the 15. A big play that time for Cleveland. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure's good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let him. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. They're going to hurry back to the line now. To try again after the sack. Hurts. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Browns! Travis Kelsey from 17 yards out. And the Browns are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up his right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. 
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second and one, Jones. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 47. They'll look to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of six there on first. From the 41, Jones. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Now Jones. Short throw to Disley. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll run for it with Eckler. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Jones on first and 10. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again, Jones. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Browns. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Steps away. Open man. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Oh, they hate 
like that wipes out the big play. And I know this is the NFL, so they would probably fine you for this type of a penalty. But when I was in college, you used to have to do up downs for the number of yards that you cost a team in a big play. Out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They'll roll him out right. He lets it fly for Lockett. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big play that time through the air. 34 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. And there's Lockett pulling in a tough grab. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Throwing his hurts. Rolling to his left. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Travis Kelsey already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Browns are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and they open the lead up now to 25. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. From the 27, Jones. Short throw to Disley. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Throwing Jones. And now here is another interception. Adrian Amos with a pick. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go play action with Hertz. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Here's second and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. He lets it fly for Lockett. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on here. And partner, you know NFL coaches, they're on the sideline thinking about all the little things that need correcting. But for the most part, they've got to be ecstatic with the way the season has started out. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Quick hitter here. It's complete. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. A good gain on first, has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Operating from the gun, Jones. Throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches.
from the gun. Jones, open man lamb, it's complete. Now the Bengals gonna signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. This is swung out to Eckler. Now we'll get whistles, and they've signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. One final shot. They'll look to throw. One last shot at the end zone. A high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Well, my friend, for the players, it's good for them to get that first game under their belts. For you and I, that first Thursday night game, also good for us to get that under our belts, wasn't it? It was no longer preseason. We were into the regular season, the first game of the year. And you know, all eyes were watching this one. Everyone was excited that football was back. And it's just special. You can just feel it. It's so good to have the pigskin back out there. It'll be crisp fall weather before we know it. You got that right, but I love the buildup to it, right? All day long anticipating it. And then we got here and we saw a game, the first game of the year. Let's keep going. So for Cleveland, they begin the new campaign. Come and get me.